Um, today we're going to talk a little bit about what's called relative motion. And to talk about relative motion, we have to talk about hopefully an experience we've all shared. Um, maybe we haven't, maybe we have. Um, but what happens either, and there's a couple places, like at the airport. Have you ever been to the airport? So you're at the airport and your, your gate is all the way down the terminal, but they put these things here that you can, that you can walk on. They're like moving sidewalks. You ever seen a moving sidewalk? So let's visualize the moving sidewalk for a second. So I'm moving sidewalk. You're going to be walking on the sidewalk, right? So here we are. And you're like, here I go, I'm on the sidewalk, what's up? Now, the sidewalk has its own speed, and then you have your own, you have your own like walking speed. So let's say you, you want to walk. Okay, we'll do this way. So you're walking on the sidewalk. And then someone else is over here and they're just watching you. Okay. So they're on the ground. And there's someone on the sidewalk. And they're watching you and they're not moving. So let's see, how fast do people see you moving? That's the real question. So let's say the moving walkway itself. has a speed of 3 meters per second. This guy up here, we'll call him Mr. Bluehead, we know that when he's walking on just the regular sidewalk without it moving, he can walk at 2 meters per second. So there's Mr. Redhead down here, And then there's Mr. Greenhead over here. So the question is, how fast does the redhead see the bluehead moving? And then how fast does the greenhead see the bluehead moving? And how fast does the red see the green moving? Those are the questions. And to do this, we can kind of intuit it, or we can use some vector diagrams. Let's see how both of these work. So, first question is, how fast does red see blue moving? So the first question is, how fast is red sea blue moving? And the answer is pretty, pretty intuitive. If he's moving at 2 meters per second, the walkway itself goes 3 meters per second. This guy's on the ground. He should see him going at... Five meters per second. And what you do is you take the two meters per second and the three meters per second. Let's see how this works. Two meters per second for the blue, and we're going to add it to three meters per second for the walkway. And when we add vectors, you put the tail of one at the tip of the other, and then we draw from the open tail to the open tip. Five meters per second. That sounds okay. Seems pretty intuitive. The next two questions are a little less intuitive, but still doable. How fast does the red see the green moving? Okay, so how fast does red see green? Well, 
Well, this one shouldn't be too much of a problem. Red's not moving. Green isn't moving on his own. He's only walk moving with the walkway. So how fast is he moving? He sees him moving at 3 meters per second. In this case, you just have 3 meters per second, and that's it, because this guy's not moving, and this guy's not walking anything additional. No big deal. But what about this one? How fast does the green see the blue moving? How fast does the green see the blue moving? actually kind of interesting. I'll give you a hint. If you're moving, you don't know that you're moving. So what happens here? Both guys are on the walkway, and since both guys are on the walkway, they don't actually notice they're on the walkway. The only person that notices they're on the walkway is the guy that's on the ground who's not on the walkway. So this guy's stationary on the walkway. He sees this guy moving at him. How fast is he moving? What well, he's moving at? Two meters per second. So you notice that we have a nice answer of 2 meters per second here. You can do it a couple ways. I mean, you could just do 2 plus 0, that's way. Or you could do it both from this perspective down here. This guy's moving 5, but this guy's moving 3, so what's left over? Just the 2. You can do it either way. So since they're both moving together on the walkway, he doesn't notice his 3, he just notices his 2. Coincidentally, if this guy is moving and doesn't know that he's moving at all, what he would actually see was this guy moving toward him at 2 meters per second. But that's a whole different rel relativity thing. Um, this guy knows he's moving because he's actually doing some physical running, so let's not get too excited. So, here's the moral of the story. We have to be able to say how everybody sees each other. Okay? What we're going to do now is we're going to turn this guy around and we're going to send him the other direction and we're going to see how this works. Now, Mr. Bluehead is moving at 2 meters per second to the left, and we've got to figure out how does the red see the blue, how does the red see the green, and how does the green see the blue. Okay? Some of these are going to change, some are not. So let's start with the bottom. Oh, no, let's start with the, let's start with the middle one. The red sees the green. Has the red changed? No. Has the green changed? No. And so none of this changes. He's still moving that way. But there's some other cool things that are happening. Now this time, what do we notice? We have, um, if we do red sea blue, well blue's on the walkway. The walkway's moving in this way at 3 meters per second, but he's moving back this way at 2 meters per second. And so the question is, how fast does the ground guy see them moving? Well, let's come back up here. Let's do another vector diagram. This time, the walkway is to the right at 3 meters per second. But the walkway is dragging him, or he's walking against the walkway at 2 meters per second. I'm going to put the tail of one at the tip of the other. And then what are we left with? We're left with drawing from the open tail to the open tip. That's right here. And so what we would notice here is that this guy, he's not moving fast enough really to overcome this speed. So even though he's moving this way, he's trying to run against it, he's actually getting dragged backward. And so his resultant velocity is one meter per second to the right. But what would happen to these two? This guy's moving to the right at three meters per second, this guy's going against him. So how fast does he see him moving? Well, the answer is still, still sees him moving at 2 meters per second, but instead of 2 meters per second moving toward him, he sees him going at 2 meters per second in the opposite direction. Because when it comes to it, all you have to do is add the vectors together, but you have to understand who's doing the viewing. 
The way this manifests in my favorite kind of problem is something called the river problem. So in the river problem, what we have is we have a river that has some sort of current in it. Okay? So here's a river, and let's say our river is flowing this direction, it's flowing to the right. So we're going to say Did you hear Mrs. Lee leaving with her high heels? It's my favorite. Let's say that uh, the current is to the right, and so this is the velocity of the current is three meters per second to the right. You have a boat, and now you know something about your boat. You know that your boat has um, a speed in still water. Your boat has a speed of four meters per second. So what would happen if you put your boat in the river, pointing with the river? Okay. Well, let's see what happened here. What do you think the resultant velocity would be? As you may imagine, you take the velocity of the boat, 4, you add it to the velocity of the river, Three, and you get resultant velocity of seven meters per second. Again, you add the vectors tip to tail. No big one. What if you pointed your boat the other way? Now, you're trying to go four this way, and you're trying to go three, or, and the river's dragging you three this way. So what's going to happen here? Wow, well, I have my four. I have my three. So you can be seen moving one meter per second to the right. Now, the point is, though, that these two, those two are from the perspective of an observer on the shore. What if it was somebody else? What if there's like a little frog on the log in the river? And the frog is right here. How fast does the frog on the log in the river see you moving? Now, he's moving with the current. So at the top one, even though the guy on the shore sees you moving down the river at seven meters per second, the frog on the log in the river only sees you moving toward him at four meters per second because he doesn't actually know that he's moving. So you can ignore this three and you see him moving this way at... That is not right. I drew a back. Why didn't you say something?
that's a little better. So the boat's traveling upriver at four, the river's dragging it down at three, so he's moving up the river at one meter per second. This frog on the log of the river, what does he see? Well, again, he doesn't know he's moving with the current, so the only thing he sees is you moving in your boat up the river at four meters per second. That's all well and good. But now we get to the real question. Here's the real question.